everyone, how's it going? Jack here. I just wanted to put out a quick uh, new uh, video diary entry. And uh, basically I'm working, uh, we have a C, what I call the CRAM wing, uh, which is a CPLD and SRAM on one wing. And the idea is that the CPLD will present the uh, SRAM in uh, a condensed format for so you can use it with a 16-bit wing. So you don't have to use as many pins as you normally would for SRAM. Um, and it's kind of a project that's on the back burner right now. Uh, other things have taken yeah. press. So uh, I'm going to be building up some boards today and I thought I would uh, record it. So here are all the main ingredients for this board. Uh, first off we've got the PCBs here. Uh, I got a batch of these from uh, Gold Phoenix. Okay we're gonna get a close-up here of applying solder and I'm just gonna do a couple quick beads along all these and uh, I don't really care how much I'm putting it on I just want to get it to stick and then uh, just dab a dot on each one of the resistor and capacitor pads and that's it okay so we'll start we'll uh, place all of these SRAM chips and now the CPLD chips and geez I need to be careful with these I might run out of some soon So next we'll add the 0.1 microfarad capacitors and what I usually do is I keep a uh, collection of pill boxes and I fill them with the most common resistors and capacitors that I need um, and in this case I know that Thursday is where the 0.1 farad micro or uh, the 0.1 microfarad capacitors are. Now I always do, whenever I do this I feel like uh, I always think I'm using chopsticks. Okay so final step and in this one I'm uh, adding the resistors and I'm actually going to use a vacuum pickup tool that I have. And now these boards are ready to cook, so we're turning on the skillet here. And uh, we're just going to let them do what they need to do for a while. Okay, so now we need to clean up all these solder bridges and make sure we have good solder connections on every lead. So we're going to start out with uh, our flux. And uh, this time we're getting a more of a close-up of, of what's happening here.
and we're just going to use the drag technique. So what that does is it moves all of the solder over to one side and then you can just really easily wick it up. And that leaves, with, leaves you with nice Now these SRAM chips are really easy because the pads are pretty big. A lot of times you don't even need to use solder wick because uh, there's just so much pad space. 